Now friends, uh, let's see this question. In an examination, a candidate is required to pass four different subjects than the number of ways in which he can fail is. Uh, friends, various methods are there to approach this problem, right? I just take uh, one or two uh, methods. Suppose, see there are four subjects, right? Maybe A, B, C and D, right? The candidate has to pass four subjects and he, uh, what are the number of ways in which he can fail? That means he has to fail in all the four subjects or all the on the three subjects or two subjects or one subject, right? He cannot pass all the four subjects, right? So the first method is he is uh, pass in uh, for subject A, he, ha he has two choices, either he is pass or fail. For the subject B, he has two choices, pass or fail. For the C, pass or fail. For D, pass or fail. Right? So, there are 16 ways in which um, the total number of ways will be 16. But for every case, we have taken that pass or fail, pass or fail, pass or fail and pass or fail. Right? But there will be a single case when all, all the four are pass. So, if all the four are pass, we cannot calculate the number of ways in which he can fail, right? So these are the total number of ways in which uh, he can fail or pass and we need to deduct that single case when he is pass in all the four subject, right? Because we are choosing pass, fail, pass, fail, pass, fail, pass, fail, right? So a single case will be there when he will be pass in all the four subject. So we deducted that and we got the answer as 15. Right. Alternatively, what you can do? See, he has to fail uh, at least in one subject. Right. So, let's calculate that. Suppose he is uh, like fail in three subjects. So, out of four subjects, he is fail in three subjects. So, which three? That will be calculated that the combination we will be getting by 4C3. Right. Now, suppose or he is fail in two subjects. So the number of combinations is 4C2. Then suppose he is failed in one subject. So the combination is 4C1. That means the subject is either A or B or C or D. Four combinations will be there. Or he is not at all failed. But we have to uh, uh, find out the number of ways in which he is failed. So we want to calculate that. right? So precisely this, this is the total calculation that we have to make. right? So 4C3 is what? 4C1. 4C1 is 4 plus this 4, then 4C2 is what? 4 into 3, that is 12 by 2, 6, right? So that is 6 plus 4, 10 plus 4, 14. And one way is that he is fail in all the four subjects. So it's 4C4, right? So plus 1, that is 15, right? So he is fail in all the four subjects or he is fail in one subject or he is fail in two subjects or he is fail in three subjects, right? So these are the cases that we uh, taken over here. So 15 is the answer. So 15 is the answer in this case and in this case. You can go for any method. It depends upon you in which you are comfortable, right? Now friends, uh, let's try this question. A fair dice is rolled n times. Uh, the number of all the possible outcomes is. See friends, why do we call it as a fair dice? What does this term mean? That is, this dice is totally unbiased. It doesn't follow any pattern for its outcomes, right? So this is what a fair dice is, right? Now it is rolled for n times. Now on a dice, how many numbers are there? That is from 1 to 6, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And the numbers are in the form of dots, like 1, then 2, then 3. 3, then 4, then 5, and then 6. Right? Right? Now, when you roll a dice, you will uh, or you may get any one of the number. Right? So, suppose you are rolling dice for the first time. So, you have 6 choices. Right? Number 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 or 6 may appear in the form of dots, right? So if you are rolling the dice for the first time, you have six choices, right? Now further, you are rolling the, rolling the right uh, dice once again. So further you have six choices, then further six choices, 
six choices right so any number of times you are rolling the dice every time there are six choices so you are rolling the dice uh, dice for n times that means six into six into six till n that means six raised to n right so the number of all the possible outcomes is six raised to n okay i hope you are clear now there are four letter boxes in a post office in how many ways can a man post eight distinct letters further we have to apply common sense over here no mathematic uh, sense or deep knowledge of permutation combination is required over here see four letter boxes are there a b c and d now you pick up the first letter so you can drop the letter in any of the boxes so for the first letter you have four choices similarly for the second letter you have four choices for the third till eighth letter you have four choices right because there is a restriction on which like on letter or post office uh, i'm sorry post box see a post box can accommodate uh, more than one letters but a single letter cannot go uh, into more than one box right so we have restriction on letters right so if we pick up a letter we have four choices like in which we can put right we can put the letter either in a or b or c or d right so for each letter we have four choices so for eight letters we have four into four into four till eight times so four raised to eight ways or choices we have to post four letters um, sorry eight letters in four letter boxes right so it's four raised to eight right do not get confused between these two good number of students get confused uh, between the two answers they just take the visa versa that is because in various uh, textbooks or various books or in various uh, places it has been explained that just put a smaller power to the bigger number or bigger power to the smaller number like various fundas are used so i'm not using any funda over here i'm just using common sense common mathematical sense over here right so for the first letter you have four choices for the second letter you have four choices so for the eight letter you have four is to eight choices right so do not get confused between these two now what p84 is it actually 8p4 that is first of all you are selecting four um, letters out of this eight letters then you are arranging them right now this is not at all valid see we don't have to discuss about uh, why the option is wrong but since i am elaborating it how eight what is 8p4 so 8p4 is what 8c4 into 4 factorial now why it is wrong because you are selecting four letters out of eight letters why we have to select we don't have to select because we have to post all the eight letters right so this is obviously wrong so this is what the correct method and correct choice so i hope you are clear